Hello, welcome to Game On, the show that, despite popular opinion, has absolutely no homoerotic subtext whatsoever. None at all. Not a sausage. Hey. Coming up this week... Listen. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. We review Super Mario Galaxy 2. Squeeze into some fetching shorts with UFC Undisputed 2010. And Nat squares up to Ultimate Fighter Rampage Jackson. Your mother, Rampage, is so fat. It's been almost three years since everyone's favourite plumber blasted his way across the galaxy. Now Mario's gearing up for some more SMG action. What? You can't have Mario gunning people down. He's a family character. What are you talking about gunning people down? It's like not SMG, gun. submachine gun. <sighs> really? That's ridiculous. <laughs> From the very start of Super Mario Galaxy 2, ah. it's clear you're in for another super sweet dose of gravity-defying action. The game is every bit as vibrant and detailed as the last, leaving us wondering if it's possible to get diabetes from a video game. We found out it isn't. Players of the first will feel immediately right at home amongst the tiny planets, something Nintendo are thankfully aware of, making the vast majority of tutorials optional. The game is so similar to the original, in fact, it comes dangerously close to just feeling like an expansion pack. The sheer charm and imagination of the level design, though, means while you do feel on familiar footing, it's still a new and exciting experience. In fact, it's impossible to write off SMG2 as a mere expansion pack, all thanks to one little creature. Yes, Mario's faithful ally since Super Mario World, Yoshi was painfully absent from the first Mario Galaxy. Now, though, he's back in full force, adding all new depths to the gameplay experience. Yoshi's trademark tongue gives you all new ways to deal with enemies and the challenging new environments. But ultimately, even with Yoshi on board, why should gamers shell out for Super Mario Galaxy 2 if they already own the first game? Well, during development, Miyamoto-san promised us a far trickier game, and Nintendo has certainly delivered. Thankfully, though, it's not a frustrating one. You'll certainly find stuff to put your gaming skill to the test, but it never seems unfair. The result is a challenging but extremely satisfying experience, and much like the first, the game will last for as long as you're prepared to play it. <laughs> If you aren't too fussed about getting every star and every coin, you can still blitz Mario Galaxy 2 fairly quickly, making for a satisfying flash in the pan experience. If you fancy investing more time, though, you'll be richly rewarded, all thanks to the fantastic level design. The real star of the game, as with the first, is the universe itself, and the imagination that's gone into each planet is a real treat. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is like a noisy, colourful love letter from Nintendo's developers, meticulously crafted with your enjoyment in mind. Of course, space travel doesn't always go smoothly, and SMG2 does encounter one or two bumps on re-entry. Firstly, the camera has been greatly improved, but still isn't quite perfect. The brilliance of the game is the freedom it gives, allowing Mario to charge around entire planets at speed. The camera, unfortunately, isn't quite so adept at getting around, occasionally leaving you making educated guesses from an awkward angle. The second's not so much a flaw in design or execution, it's just the plot's a bit similar to the last one. What? You do realise what you just said, right? Yeah, the plot's a bit similar. I had a problem with Yeah, it's a Mario game. I mean, OK, what's the premise? OK, so Mario has to... You know, rescue the princess who's been kidnapped. OK, now cast your mind back. It's 1981, yeah. Donkey Kong, Mario's first appearance. Mm -hmm. What's the premise? Mario in that one has to rescue the princess who's just... I get you. Mm. I get you. Yeah. Yep, accusing a Mario game of being samey is a bit like accusing you of being a bit Nathaniel. I am a bit Nathaniel. That's the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimately, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a triumph. More expansive than the last, crammed with old-school Mario charm, but still incredibly innovative. Nintendo stuck by a working formula, but still managed to entirely outdo themselves. In short, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is... Out of this world? Oh, I was going to say off the hook, but that's quite clever, actually. Out of this world. SMG 2 is out of this world and off the hook. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Right, so just before we start, I want to be totally clear on the rules. No gouging, fish hooking, pulling hair, Sorry, what groin exactly shots. What are we on about? I want you to be totally clear on the rules before we ultimate fight. We're ultimate fighting? Yeah. Shirts off. Can we? Up, up and away. 
Can we can we not do this? Can we just review a video game instead? Well, right. Pansy. So, you want to be a fighter? This is how. UFC Undisputed 2010 is the latest instalment of octagonal brutality brought to you by the good folks at THQ. It's absolutely their most accomplished UFC title to date, definitely. Really? No one challenged you on that? Nope, it's Undisputed. As great as Undisputed 2010 is, though, it owes a lot to its predecessor. UFC Undisputed 2009 really helped put the UFC on the map. The game helped the show draw in new fans, as well as satisfying the bloodlust of the already converted. I have to train with the best to defeat the best. Realising the series' potential, the UFC have now freed up far more assets for THQ, including a massive character roster, voice talent, pretty much everything down to the branded T-shirts. As a result, Undisputed feels far more engaging than the previous title. It's a more authentic experience than we've seen from almost any sports title, let alone a fighting one. As a result, when you pick up UFC Undisputed 2010, you really feel like it's fight night. What, the EA boxing sim? No, no, like you're there, like the atmosphere, you know, like footlong hot dogs and beers and buzzers and the crowd. Don't think they allow beer in the octagon, mate. <sighs> Killjoy. <laughs> As with any sporting sequel, the latest UFC title is all about learning from the limitations of the last, which were mainly constraints placed on what you could and couldn't do in the ring. John Belushi told us more. Making an MMA game is hard, and this year there were a lot of things that we sought out uh, to do that, you know, to really uh, kind of deliver on that on that promise again. Uh, you know, obvious submissions like uh, the southpaw, um, sways and leans, cage positions. We've added a ton of new submissions. I think you see the game just play a lot more fluidly. Uh, there's a lot more animations. I mean, as far as stats go, we quadrupled, uh, quadrupled the number of strikes in the game, tripled the number of ground animations, doubled the number of submissions. So there was a lot, the host of improvements went into kind of replicating this brand and this sport and encapsulating that on a, on a controller. So clearly THQ learned a lot from the last game and have added bundles to the next. The resulting game can perhaps be a little daunting to total newcomers, but once mastered, it rewards the gamer with a fighting experience as broad and complex as MMA itself. So ultimately the character modelling is excellent, the atmosphere is electric, and the gameplay's come on in leaps and bounds since the last game. Undisputed 2010 is THQ's greatest UFC title yet, and is a must for anyone who fancies stepping into the octagon. Shot down. Down I was particularly impressed with the character modelling and creator fighter. I mean, yeah, look how good your good. one looks with that Rampage Jackson render. No, that is me. Hmm? That is me and Rampage Jackson. That's actually you and yeah, Rampage. Yeah, I met the guy. We went to talk some trash. Have a look. Your mother, Rampage, is so fat that her, her, her blood type is vanilla. Oh dear. That... that was... That was the lamest... Take my mother on. I already did. <laughs> and she was terrible. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> it was bad. First, I, don't, I don't want no more. First time. <laughs> Listen, you have, uh, you give, you will give your opponent uh, trash talk ammo. Is it the glasses? It's the glasses. It's, oh, the, it's the hair. It's your the gr hair. It, it's your grill. The grill. It's your, it's your shirt. The shirt. This is where you wear your shirt. And to top it off, it's the socks. The hole. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? God said be holy, but damn. And they don't match nothing else you got on. You see, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you got your shirt rolled up like this, and I you got do, to, yeah. and you know. Do you not like the lining? Have you got a problem with the lining? You know, that's your style. Yeah. You gotta you, to do good at trash talking. Okay. You gotta make it your Come on, own. Give me, give me something. You gotta make it your own. Okay, so. You, gotta, you gotta think, use your, use your brain weapon. Look at your hoodie. It's like you probably got it free. I did get it free. Yeah, can you not afford your own clothes? Hey, look at your shirt. Look like you got it from a gay bar. 
<laughs> what's wrong with those bumps on your neck right there? What's, what's, those, what's up with those bumps? It's an bumps? Adam's apple. Men no, no, have them. No, no, not, not the Adam's apple. I'm talking about those. You got, you got neck zits. What's up? I heard of zits <laughs> on faces. Did, so. did not expect. When I got up this morning, I did not expect to be told by an ultimate fighter that I, would, I had neck zits. You got neck zits. Neck I've, you zits. know what I'm saying? I've heard of zits on the face, yep. and, but never on the neck, though. You need to take care of that. Look at the ridiculous gap yeah. between your teeth. Yeah, not, Take okay, it down. okay. Now yeah. say something about the gap. Okay. Now what the gap remind you that, of? It looks like the Grand Canyon. That's a good one. That's a good one. I, I'm gonna go on holiday in the in the middle of your teeth. <laughs> I want to take a helicopter into the canyon. I want to take a. a I want to go on a tourist ride through the your teeth. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. See, that's not bad. Boom. Have I learned something? You I learned, made it my own. No, hey, that was pretty good. So I felt like you learned something? Yes, I did, you smug emo freak. Look at your weirdly asymmetrical eyes and that ridiculous earring. Makes you look like a female extra from Apocalypto. You look ridiculous. That's not funny either. That's not bad. Boom. Still, after my masterclass, I got the chance to sit down with Rampage for a bit more of an informal chat, and I got to ask him about his gaming habits. He more made noises than anything. I like, all type, I like racing video games. I like shooting them up. You know, I, I, you, know, uh, you know, and I like fighting video games. I don't play any sports games. I like fighting, shoot them up, blah, 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 beat them up, and racing them out. I like this type of stuff. And motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Baffling. Undeterred, though, I pressed on and asked if he'd played UFC Undisputed 2010. Yeah, I played that game. Insightful. Yep, finally ran out of words, didn't you, Rampage? An actor slash killing machine you may be, a games reviewer you ain't. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> right, Johnny, quick game. It's called Dead or Alive. I say a name, you say whether they're dead or alive. Okay. Okay, Saddam Hussein. Dead. Queen Elizabeth II. Alive. Kurt Cobain. Dead. Wrong! Yep, it turns out the Nirvana frontman is not dead, he's just holidaying in a fantasy world inhabited by living skeletons and giant spiders. Two Worlds 2 is the latest title to prove games developers just aren't that good with numbers. It's a direct sequel to the 2007 RPG, which was met with mixed reviews but nonetheless gained a strong following. The new game concerns itself with events following the fall of Azirar, god of fire to the Dark Lord Gandahar. Obviously. It all sounds very exciting, but we're slightly concerned about this part of the new trailer. Wait, what? Yeah, always slightly worrying when a game's own debut trailer calls it intriguing. Yeah, intriguing's the kind of thing you say after a mate's play when you're too polite to say it was rubbish. Still, we're sure this won't be, and we'll have more on it closer to the launch in September. So that's it from us for this week. We're going to boot up UFC Undisputed and take out the trash. Yeah, literally, it's been piling up in the kitchen yeah, all the, week. The bin men around here are breathtakingly inefficient. More gaming garbage next week. No gouging, fish hooking, pulling hair, anything Sorry, like that. What exactly is this? I want to, I want you to be clear on the walls before we wool walls. Wool walls. <laughs> Thanks for the Thank for the there. Thank for the low. Thank, thank for the yeah. Sorry. Also, I'm just amazed by how far I can spit. All thanks to one little creature. It's quite a David Attenborough. That. One little creature. You can't have Mario gunning people down. He's, he's not, a family character. He's not gunning people down. What are you talking about? SMG, su submachine gun. Super machine gun. Super machine gun. Super Mario's gun. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like that. Uh, I'm with you now. Sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't let, me, don't let me spoil your tea break. If you fancy investing more time, though, you will be re, re richly re, re rewarded. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Richie, Rich. <laughs> Squeeze into our tiniest short. The, the problem with tiniest shorts is that they have actually quite large shorts in okay. UFC. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did not expect that. Nor did I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You smell of kind of cologne. Ricky, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, rah, rah, rest. <laughs> okay.